In this lesson, I am going to create a controller, which as name suggests, controls our application, reacts on links, loads models, and so on. I'm gonna do this through the following command in the terminal. And we see that we have our controller created. Which methods must our controller have? Of course, as we defined in the routing file. The index method will get all the tasks from the database. Let me repeat it three times to have some code prepared so that I don't have to write much. Let's change it to create, update and delete. And now I am going to fill the first method. In the Laravel, we get all the records from the database like this. We write the name of our model and all method. This is obviously one of the methods. This is the simplest method of getting records from the database. This model is in certain namespace and we have to import our model first to be ready to use it. And now I am going to return the view with all tasks assigned to the view. From now we will be able to loop through all tasks with for each loop. Of course this does not work yet. This task list is from template so far because we have not completed our view yet. As we can see here, the request object is imported by default. This object stores, among others, data from the form fields. In the case of the create method, we will need it. First, we will check if our input field has been filled out. Task is the name of our input. In this way, we refer to the form field using the request object. If this is not empty, then we want to write a new record to the database and how to do it. To begin with, we assign a new task class to some variable And in this object, we can refer to the columns of the database. And to the content of the task, we assign what we have written in the form field. And in the end, we have to save our model. And this will cause a new record to be saved in the database. At the very end, we redirect back to refresh our tasks list. So it is time for editing a task. Of course, to edit the task, we need ID of this task. And what we must do now? We have to toggle status of our task. And last two lines of code are exactly the same as in the create method. Deleting a task I am doing in a very similar way. Um, I am using delete method on our model. Let me explain you how it all works. After clicking on the link or button, the Laravel first checks what is in the routing file. If, if the URL matches the first argument, then the controller method is executed. In this method, we use our model to communicate with the database. We get the records from the database and assign them to the view. This is MVC in short. 
In the next lesson, I will prepare a for each loop to list all tasks.